Forget the Big Bang, we might have had the Big Bounce instead. The Big Bounce hypothesis says that before the universe as we know it today had formed, there was a universe here before us. It disappeared before we arrived in something called the Big Crunch. And from there, it created such an immense amount of density and extreme temperatures that it caused an inversion effect, meaning it went from the Big Crunch right into expansion and formed the universe as we know it today. No point of singularity, no Big Bang required. This is referred to as the bounce. If our universe formed through a bounce instead of a big bang, then maybe some of what exists in the current universe today has already existed in a previous one. The bounce hypothesis arose from our understanding of black holes. It all started when physicist James Burdine in 1968 modified the equations about black holes in Einstein's theory of general relativity. He stated that the mass of a black hole is not constant, but instead a function based off of the distance to the center of the black hole. This gave birth to the possibility of a new kind of black hole, named the regular black hole, which does not violate general relativity. The idea has been around for decades. So if there are black holes with no singularity, then maybe there's no singularity for the universe either. This may be the basis of the universe bounce hypothesis. Many scientists, like physicist Juliano Neves, believes a black hole isn't identified by its singularity, but instead by its event horizon which is the area around a black hole, where once an object passes by it, it's doomed for a one-way ticket into the black hole. He believes that space-time acts totally differently at the event horizon than elsewhere in the universe. And there may be something there that can explain some of the questions that arise in the bounce hypothesis. He also believes in the possibility that some of the black holes in our universe existed before the Big Crunch and transferred over to our current universe during the inversion process. Does that mean maybe we too existed in another universe before this one? Until more research is done, this is just a mere mathematical possibility. But it's still pretty amazing to think about, right? To learn more about space-time phenomena, please subscribe to our channel and check out this video on black holes. Starting in the 1940s, scientists have constructed three potential outcomes for our universe. The Big Crunch, the Infinite Expansion, and the Stagnation Expansion.